What's up guys? Welcome back to another video uh, and this week we're gonna actually be putting some work on the CRV. Um, so as you know past month and a bit have been crazy. We did the automatic case swap. Actually has been driving it every day. I drove it here and there because obviously I go to work and all that. Car's been fantastic. Pulls really really good. Uh, we got some more things to come for that but uh, we're jumping back on the CRV because I do have some things uh, that need to be done in the CRV. Uh, I still have the wing to install, but I don't think we're going to do that today. I have the front lip to install, but that's also not today. Got to do the header and the exhaust, but that's another day. But today, what we're going to do, we're going to install a DC Sports air intake on the CRV. It's too quiet, so we got to give it some more breathing as uh, apparatus. Very nice. So, yeah, we're gonna help it breathe a lot better. Uh, it says 02 to 06, so should be no problem. But then people tell me 02 to 04, 05, 06, different, so we'll see. Uh, doesn't look like anything different from the two. The old girls got an 03, and I have an 05, so they look the same. So, what we're gonna do is install this intake and a much needed oil change. I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire, pick up some oil and a filter. Gonna switch back to conventional oil because it's more thicker and I think it's gonna last longer because after 3,000 kilometers, the CRV just starts to drink oil, especially with the full synthetic being thinner. So maybe I'll go synthetic blend. We'll see what we got there. Probably add some high mileage because you know the V is pretty up there in mileage. So I'm gonna load this thing up. CRV's warming up. We're gonna go to Canadian Tire, grab some oil, grab a coffee, head on to Mercer's because. It's gloomy as hell outside and it looks like shit and I ain't working on in the cold, in the rain, to do an intake. So yeah. Alright boys, so we're here at the shop. The V is up on the hoist. We're going to start with the oil change and then we'll get to the intake. As you guys know, I'm joined by the ever so awesome Mercer. What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Thanks and for tuning in. And uh, let's just put on some uh, PFI here. Yeah. Watching our boys here at PFI. Let's get going then. Let's uh, start this uh, intake uh, um, install. That's yeah. what we're going to do, right? The so, yeah. We, sports. Uh, like I said earlier, we're not done with the Muganel. We got some things um, in, like, the works. The, in the works. Obviously, I told you we're going to swap the throttle body <laughs> yeah. uh, for the Scum 2 one. Uh, I guess we might as well say we got the K tuner. Uh, our boy Ralphie is getting the yep. software s soldered onto the 0506 ECU, which was a hard, hard, hard process of tracking down. But Evolution Auto Parts helped us out, so thank you very much. Uh, but now we're gonna jump back on the CRV, the content on the CRV. We're gonna start with the intake. Um, hopefully, today Kevin can take measurements of what he needs so at another date we can complete the exhaust on the CRV. Yeah, we're gonna make an exhaust for this. Uh, and then, you know, the lip. Two and a half? What are we gonna do? Two and a half? Two and a half the rest of the way. Well, we got it three quarters of the way down. So, yeah, we'll do a two and a half all the way down. Yep. And cool. we got the nice K2 muffler, as you guys know. And then we got the top section of the header. So, that will be done. Uh, and then we got that fuel rail that we didn't end up using on the Mugen EL that we got power coated. And then we can install that later on. But we got lots of content for the CRV. And this weekend is the first official day of spring. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it starts it this weekend. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what that means, guys? There's going to be tons of racing. We're four weeks away from uh, our first race. Uh, yeah, our first race SK, weekend. Yeah, yeah. For that, the SK. That's right. The SK is coming in. You're going to be doing a shitload of work on it. You're going to be doing a bunch of that stuff. So, so I'm going to be forward. I'm going to be popping by. That. I'm going to pop by. Do some videos with that. Uh, tons of stuff of like the ES1 coming back out. Spring is here. Yeah, it's yeah. Knocking on the door. Uh, we got to change about some to stuff. That door. Yep, we got to change some little stuff. Not nothing crazy. More towards the the middle of the summer, we're gonna do a nice overhaul in the engine bay. Uh, I got something. So I just gotta we, get some more. Parts. We can officially say that winter is like, see ya. Yeah, as of tomorrow, winter is no more. It's spring. Yeah. Yeah, and so the best part is the best part is starting April. There's no more stupid. Whatever those things, things are, are <laughs> restrictions that stop me from going to see this guy race his S2000 for hours at, at a time. So That's guess what? So I can drive my Spoonia Swan or the Mugen or the CRV. It's, it's hard when you have so many cases to choose from. 
<laughs> one of the three Ks. Yeah. Oh man, that, that's, that, that came out wrong, bro. I just thought of something. <laughs> one of the three Ks. Yeah. Uh, and I could go see them at the track, chill out, and you know, like watch the homies do what they do best, bro. Yeah, man, race. So, yeah. Uh, we got lots of plans. Um, lots of upcoming videos. Yeah. We're gonna do something on the CRV. I've been doing some research, and from my research, what I can, and I've crisscrossed with Mercer, uh, I think it's gonna work. We're gonna do something on the CRV that nobody's done, and for everyone that's wondering how to tune it and stuff like that, I think well, if I'm right, it's in the works. Let's figure yeah, this out. First. If I'm and right, we'll it's gonna work. If I'm right, it's gonna work. And then we'll tell you guys. Yeah. Well, we're gonna show you guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll show but uh, yeah, so we're gonna start with the oil change. I uh, went with the Castro 530 synthetic blend high mileage because yeah, high mileage. the K has about 260,000 clicks on it now. I'm gonna start working. Yeah, he's gonna start working. It's got 260,000 clicks. Uh, and like I said, after a certain amount of kilometers, she starts to drink a little bit of oil. So we're going with that right there. And then we opened up the box. And shout out to Garage 16 and DC Sports for this beautiful intake. It's gonna breathe really good, boys. And uh, as you guys can see, the shop's a packed, packed place. So, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. Uh, just vibe a little bit. And we'll pick up the camera as soon as we start doing the install on the intake. 15 minutes later. All right, boys, so oil change done. Let's start unboxing this thing. We got a bag. We got a bag with a pipe. And a pipe. And a bag. Sweet. Look at that. Another bag. With the coupler and some hardware and stuff. And some stickers. Our numbers. For the pipe. Fire paper. To start yeah. a fire. In case you're ever cold. In case you're ever cold, correct. More fire paper. Yeah, more fire paper. More fire paper. Uh, this might actually come in handy. Where, are you keeping the old intake? Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it just in case. We'll throw this back into here, just in case. You know, with this. Uh, and then, oh yeah, we got a comb. And then we have a filter. Nice. Look at that. That's it right there. Honestly, in a bag. Uh, in a bag. Uh, wait, ooh, wait. It's a head wrapped in a condom. In a condom. It's a condom in a condom. Condom in a condom. What were right. you gonna say, man? I was gonna pop the bubbles. Oh, okay. yeah. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that, that's the stuff. Uh, honestly, nice little filter uh, that they produce. Nice little intake system. Uh, so I was reading it over, okay, guys? So on this instruction, I need you guys to pay attention to this, okay? So it yes, says... Yes, we actually do read it. 02 to 04 Honda CRV. Not, do not use drive-by wire. So if you guys notice, this CRV is drive-by wire but not full drive-by-wire because there is a cable that goes to a box right there and then converts to a drive-by-wire. Normal drive-by-wire would have a little box over here uh, that a sensor plugs into for like a MAF, right? Correct. Uh, I think that's what they're talking about because when I Googled DC Sports uh, CRV intake, it says 02 to 06, that's the one that came up. So yeah, I don't know why they put it on that package that it's only 0204. So yeah, that's uh, everything you guys need to know on that. And obviously your standard eight mils. Uh, they even said you need like an eleven mil and stuff like that. But uh, no, man, it's all uh, ten mils, eight mils. Uh, actually, I laid out some of the yeah. tools that we're gonna need here. Okay, so, so yeah, ten mil doesn't need to be that fancy, but an eight mil, oh. ten mil, um, side cutter, and a needle nose uh, yeah. pliers of some sort, so you can get to the stuff. Yeah, so don't, like that's why I said don't listen to what they say about like 11 mil and shit like that. Hondas don't normally use 11 mils anyway. What the heck are they using the 11? I don't know, but Hondas never use odd numbers. It's always 8s, 10s, 12s, 14s, 17 in, in bigger bold applications, but yeah. So, uh, DC, work on your instruction manual a little bit. At least, yeah. So, I mean, we're gonna change some of this stuff too. We're gonna reroute one of the like this here is a coolant passage so we're gonna reroute that because that i hate this it always looks bulky and ugly mm -hmm. you'll see what i mean uh, basically he's gonna give it a little bit of a cleanup yeah man because yeah. kevin hates ugly looking things on nice builds yep yep that's that's, that's exactly it so that. just start off with uh just connecting all your sensors and that's uh, that's about it done done beautiful snap our finger 
And the next thing is an intake. All right, guys, so, you know, tackle some of the uh, 10 mils. Take out the ratchet uh, clamps. Ratchet clamp here, ratchet clamp here. Uh, like I said, undo all your sensors. There is going to be a vacuum hose connected underneath the intake air temperature sensor. Um, just pull that guy out. If it doesn't come out easily, usually they're rusted up and they are a pain in the ass. Use your needle nose pliers, stick them inside there, pull it back. Um, if you want to use some lubrication to, to help uh, assist the process, uh, put some lubrication. Then all around the top part of the air box, there is eight mils. All the way around, there is one, two, um, three, three four, four, five of them in total. Hit all five. Once all five are loose, they are stationary um, bolts, so they don't completely come out. Like, you, you can't take them out, they just lift. You guys can see, they just stay like that. Uh, unplug this guy here. You might have some clamps like this, or in our case, we had zip ties. Um, this is just a breather hose. There's no vacuum, nothing like that to it, so it's pretty simple. Then go ahead. Pull it out. This is what I mean about stationary bolts. They just stay See, right there. They stay inside. So, yeah, it's five bolts all the way around. Boom, that guy comes out. Once that guy comes out, then you're gonna have three 10 mil bolts. I've already gone ahead and taken out uh, two of them. Uh, one is gonna be here. There's gonna be a second one here, and there's a third one here. So I've gone ahead and I've already loosened all three. Let's just pull them out. This guy here, and that's it. Our box is now removed. Removable. Now yeah. it's removed. Out yep. of the area. This right here is a giant hole for Paul to uh, uh, do something with. Yep. Uh, and to think, we got this a few months ago, and look already how dirty it has gotten already. Man, construction life sucks on these cars. You guys, let's put this guy back. Yep. Keep it for the next time. So now, does pay the bills. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. Uh, and as you guys can see, we have all this room. Look how much room we have, man. It freed up quite a bit of room. Hey, a man. nice turbo right here would be pretty No, sick. no, this one's gonna get like a Merc style, Jackson Racing style supercharger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Daily use, you know, it's perfect. But yeah. guys, I just looked at something. The What's size that? of this casing. Wait, let me just remove oh, this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just like that, see what I meant? Like the piping is more or less the same angle and everything's like, I don't know what they were trying to go by with their uh, their instructions. So yeah, like if you guys can see it. I don't know what it's they were talking about. Just see before you, sorry yeah. to interrupt there. Before you go ahead and continue with your, hmm. Yeah, everything. Does it line up? I don't know, man. Uh, slightly. There we go. That's how it's supposed to sit. And this guy's supposed to line up to that guy there. Yeah. So that's definitely not gonna work. Yeah. If you're trying to mount yeah, that. Yeah, mount that. Yeah, I know. But I, I've mount. never used these things. Every time you mount these with the vibrations and everything, they always snap off anyway. Um. On yeah. Every intake I've used on on my ES1 when it was a D17, oh, it yeah. broke. There's some hardware in that bag, so. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll but double check. It. Obviously, the angle works and everything, so. But yeah, 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 look, it clears the battery. That's why I, I, what I originally wanted to see was to see if it cleared the battery. Mm -hmm. Like, we've never molested or done anything. Yeah, this no, all we've OEM. never, yeah. Uh, the battery, but yeah, the curvature is there. It, it clears it. There's obviously, you know, a coupler that's mm -hmm. gonna go there. So, so yeah. So, let's Looking open good. up the hardware kit. Now, like I was gonna say, I don't know if you noticed this Easter egg this year we just provided for us, bro. Come here. Let, let's show you and the subscribers. But we're gonna need your light for a second. Oh, let me go. Now that we have that big monstrosity of a box out, I'm looking at this transmission, mm -hmm. right? And the size of it, mm -hmm. right? And obviously, it bolts up to any other K, but the casing mm -hmm. is the same size. Mm -hmm. of the Mugen EL's case swap casing. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think, what with if... Added, with an added part to it. Yes. That guy down there, that, which that is the beautiful transfer case. Transfer case. What if set transfer case goes on the Triptronic K one day and we create an automatic Triptronic K-swapped 
Mugineo. I like the idea. I mean, yeah. I like the sounds of this. Yeah, this uh, the sounds uh, of this idea, I, 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 I don't know. I'm intrigued. That I've just noticed that. I was like, oh my god, it's the exact same thing. It's the same size. It's massive. That's what she said. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and push. Uh, guys, also, um, more research for you CRV boys. Innovative makes the mounts for our CRVs. Do they? Drop yes. In? Drop in mounts. So you can get the manual mounts or they actually make automatic mounts. So it will give it a nice stiffer ride and Wait. plant it. They made these in manual here in Canada? Yeah. I've never seen them. Uh, Not this generation in yeah. manual. Yeah, bro. Oh, 226, bro. Oh, interesting. I've so, never uh, seen it manual in this. Very, very hard to come by, but when you come I've by. I've only seen them in uh, Europe. Yeah, no, they, 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 they come here. here. Yeah. And Malaysia. Somewhere yeah. like, like the, um, the. Those. Those Asian uh, countries. Yes. So we're definitely gonna have to source one of these in five speed. Obviously they come five speed, but then we would just put our six speed guts into it. Uh, or no, we'd probably keep it five speed because we'd go force induction. But yeah, we would get one of these with that transfer case for another seven gen that we have. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah. Uh, so food for thought there. Food for thought. But uh, yeah, as you guys know, okay. they make the automatic innovative mounts, so you guys know. I will be purchasing that at a later date from the all boys. All three or all four? Uh, I, I think it's three. They have? They, I, they have a front mount, I believe. No. No? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, but they do. I, I believe it's only three Just mounts. Just like the yellow one, the, mm -hmm. the small yeah. little square. But the, the front sides, I mean mm -hmm. back in the sides, they have. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, they they provide that from innovative cool and uh, just like the d17 had the innovative automatic mounts too so uh, that was a good thing so we're gonna persist on uh, uh, persist proceed proceed sorry thank you persist we're gonna proceed like on the intake installation and uh, we're gonna open up the bag with all the extra hardware to see what we're working with and continue on all right guys so instruction time going to read these instructions this is very very asian it flips the opposite way to a blank page so there you go there's our instructions i mean they could have just printed it on front and back i mean here in north america we are used to opening up uh, instructions and reading it this way and then flipping that way in the asian side of the world it's the opposite way yep i remember this from comic books yeah the mangas Dragon Ball. Yeah, man. <laughs> I do recall that. So, uh, true authentication, man. Okay. Uh, I did notice this thing. I don't know what this is for. Uh, well, this guy right here would be initially for like that uh, bracket, and then okay. it would go here, and it would. This is like uh, a dampener, and it would uh, take the absorption, so that way that wouldn't break. Exactly. Yeah, but I don't think but, we're gonna use that. Um. Looking at it, doesn't look like it's going to work because dun, 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 dun. how far it comes out. Well, our throttle body sits differently. I mean, we're not going to throw any of this stuff because later on, if you ever change this manifold and you put yeah. like an RSX, I mean, an RBC manifold, mm -hmm. um, the man, the throttle body would not sit sideways like how it's sitting. Yeah, the throttle body would sit differently. So maybe this is the reason why they're saying don't. Use it if it's drive by wire. Drive by wire. Yeah. Because of the difference here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, hmm. interesting. So we're going to try some stuff and see. Sounds good. Although we could put this here and make a different mount from like here to there. If that's the case. Let's try it with a coupler. Yeah. Boys, so. Uh, Kevin didn't end up reusing the hose that came with the, the CRV. No, it kept kinking. It kept so. kinking, he hated it, and then uh, after him swearing at himself, saying I should have just left it alone, <laughs> uh, he Pretty much. grabbed some new hose, ran it longer and everything, clean, looks beautiful. Looks better. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks fantastic, guys. And now, he's know. just positioning the so uh, they, intake see pipe. I move the... Yeah piece over so now I'm just gonna make a little bracket with a step like a, yeah. like a Z and we're gonna try that out yeah so I'm Kev, gonna make that right now look at this how's the lighting 
But it's way better, man. Yeah. Way, way better. Yeah. We got it fixed. Beautiful. All right, guys, as you see, Kevin's got his little bracket. He's already giving it like a little chicane. A little bit of a chicane, yes. It's looking good. I don't think I ever get a mod for any of my cars that ever go according to instructions plans. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The, even the simplest, the simplest uh, mod always gets modified. Some sort of modification. Yep, yep. Fair enough. Stainless steel, so it's fucking hot. Hard. Yep. I don't want to rush. I don't make it as stainless. Boys. All right, guys. That's the little bracket I made. That's a nice little bracket. I know it. It's got an offset, and then it looks like it's not straight, but it's purposely made like that because the piece that it's going to mount to isn't straight. Mm -hmm. It's it's like this. Yeah, this thing's going to hurt so. a lot of feelings, I believe. That's, good. That's, That's good. right, Brent. This thing is going to hurt a lot of feelings. Uh, over six, Jeez. So over 60 more foot pounds down the bottom. It's awesome. You can tell everybody's in a great mood. It's literally spring. Winter's been long. Uh, but winter has been right. great. At the same time. Uh, we, we, I got to put the camera to us. Give us a second. We, as a team, did the unthinkable. We did a lot of great stuff this winter. Great we things. We, uh, we sacked Alto a lot. Um, <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, Tom put porn a lot on the TV. Scared a couple people away from the shop due to it. That was hilarious. Uh, you may recall in one of the Mugen Yell build series uh, videos, you can slightly hear it in the background. <laughs> that was great. Uh, I got gassed by Kev for an entire month. Uh, that, was, that was great. Uh, Ender. Decided to start wearing skinny jeans to work, as you guys can see. Yeah, Ender is uh, now a part of the team. Yeah, Ender's a part of the team. Yeah, we haven't made an announcement. Ender! Go back to work. Ender's part of the team. So he's here at Mr. Bill. It's great. Uh, we have another guy to pick on. <laughs> Fantastic. Fuck yeah. Because we feel like Alto was really getting on his last nerve with us. <laughs> Uh, but no, uh, guys, it's been a, a great winter, even though it's been long, and now we're just super... Wow, that's nice. Look at the way that little bracket worked out. Yeah, that, that came out good. Like, a part that wasn't meant for, I guess, for the 05 is now meant for the 05. Like, that... Guys, that looks phenomenal. I'm gonna try. Uh, yeah. That, that looks great. Like, uh, look at the way it sits, bro. It's, like, elevated, perfect... Somewhat. Yeah. I, I like it, bro. Try things. Try yeah. different things. See if it works. The V is getting the, the love it deserves. I love this thing. There's a clamp. Is there a drop it? No, man. It's right here, bro. There it is. I got it. Ah, right there. Uh, yeah. So now we're going to button up everything and uh, see how she sounds on the first startup. And we got to bleed the coolant because of the... How Kevin cleaned up that little area, which did clean up because all that bulkiness there was pretty ugly. Super ugly. Yeah. So yeah let's put all this back together. Mm -hmm. You will need to keep the intake air temperature sensor. Uh, so from your OEM. Yep. So this little guy right here. Yeah, this yeah. guy. We're going to have to take that out. Needs to be taken out. Yeah. Without it, basically, the car doesn't know what temperature the air going through the intake is going. I mean, on the D17, we didn't run it uh, after we did the Y8 manifold. Um, I, I think almost because, like, deep down inside, we knew we were eventually going to go K. It was just a matter of time that we uh, had to convince Ashley, and we did. And it all worked out. But, yeah, guys, make sure you guys take this out. Do not break it. Uh, be careful like how Kev is. Yeah, super careful. Use some needle nose plug. Yeah, like the plastic kind. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes these things are such a pain in the ass, and then other times they come off so they easy. Just pop off. Yeah. So yeah, you guys take that out, put it into the plug, plug it into this hole, put it into the plug. G16. Oh shit. There it is. Ah, plug. Just like that. It won't reach. So there's we're gonna have to cut this plastic taping over it. That's just not taping. It's a zip tie, man. Oh, I thought you were gonna just open. Oh yeah, yeah. This zip tie right here. Sorry. I thought we were just gonna rip that open, and just like yank it a little bit. But yeah, uh, just. The zip tie, sorry. We're gonna cut that zip tie. Yep. And uh, give us the stretch that we need to reach. Yeah, because it's like folded back. Yeah. <laughs> folded back. <laughs> so, yes. Um, now, now look at that. It, it's it's like that sham walk machine. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and now uh, we're not gonna use the the holes that came from here. Um, no, I or the supply something. Yeah, so Kevin's gonna supply one of his hoses, uh, like he did on the Great Escape. I'm gonna supply one of my hoses. One of his hoses. I got home. And we're not talking about in there. Jeez, look at that guy. What a stud. Look at those pants. He's single. Yeah. We're ready to mingle. Yes, he is. Guys, hit him up. He's on with free. <laughs> Just before you said I said guys hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is fucked up, eh? <laughs> Oh, I said I would love in there. Look at that. Man. That, that's beautiful. Right, guys just tying up the last ring clamp. On the coupler side. I mean if you guys are gonna do what Kevin and I are doing, um, don't be worried, uh, this is bigger than the throttle bodies, but uh, the clamp has enough where you can tighten it on. So uh, if you're gonna attempt something like this, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Making the best out of, uh, you know. Uh, it's making it work, man. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, all right, look at that. Sometimes what you read online is not accurate. All right, so we need a hose here. We utilized the hose that that was provided Dave by provided. DC Sports. Yep. We're gonna add this here, yep. and then our little cone. We're gonna add this cone. I need to remove my tools, and then this guy is ready to fire up. Oh, and then hold on, the finishing touches. We gotta grab our metal DC Sports. Badge right there. Oh Yeah, right there guys. What do you think right there? Yeah, I think right there Yeah, that looks good right there I'm gonna give that a nice wipe down and we're gonna put that on all right boys our DC sports badge is on Kev's tightening up Some sort of bracket uh, from what I can see Yeah, all right boys and girls we have a DC sports Short ram intake on our Honda CRV. You know what? Even though we had to slightly modify some things, well, only one thing the bracket. And remove a bracket that was over there so that it wouldn't interfere with the filter. Yeah. And that one hose. Honestly, it looks really good. I removed this bracket. Yeah, this bracket. So this bracket here was on the uh, transmission. Mm -hmm. It's chilling on the transmission back there, and if I didn't remove it, our filter would have rubbed against it, and I didn't want it to uh, rub against it, and therefore damaging your filter. So we Out. removed it to 12 mil, so you will need a 12 mil, not just the 10 and the 8s and uh, what did I say? I said side cutters and I said uh, uh, needle nose pliers, uh, and a 12 yeah. mil. That's 12 it. mil, just to remove this guy. All right. No 11s. No 11s. No 11s at all. I don't know why they said 11s on that book. That that book that should have just been front and back. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, guys, honestly, uh, DC Sports, nice intake. Uh, yes, like your website says, 02206. But if you're going to put 0506, please put that you need to uh, make a modification. Or say that you have one specifically for 0506. But regardless, we got it to work because of this man right here. Yo, you keep me a sticker or am I putting this in the sticker box? Yeah, no, no, man. That's, that, that's going to go on the V, bro. That's going to Yeah, we're going to show everybody we're DC Sport equipped. Awesome. No, we're not. 
I'm just gonna add the hose, clean up the floor. Yeah, uh, cool yeah, we gotta wash a little bit of the little spill from there. That uh, so, wow, uh, man. Yo, we uh, dude, if this was a crime scene, we suck, bro. Yeah, no, tracked it everywhere. It's yeah. Bad. It's bad. Uh, yeah, and then we gotta put this outside, uh, just bleeding the cooling system because you know, obviously, we opened up the the cooling line. So yeah, guys, looks pretty rad, bro. Looks pretty rad. I'm really content with it. Yeah, really content. Big shout out to Kevin Mercer all the time uh, with the uh, clutch help with the installs. Yeah, it's circumc oh, that's a circumcision tool. Yeah. Where's the hose for that? So I'm taking upstairs. Uh, I think it's on the table. Five minutes later. guys as you guys heard she is on yo she's got a nice deep suck to it <laughs> uh, sounds good um, next on the to-do list is definitely the exhaust and this thing will be sounding pretty badass guys but yeah really happy with it that's how it turned out man yeah, it turned Spend out some light on dude it turned out really nice man not bad no Nice little upgrade, yeah. Should do. But well, let's bring it outside. Yeah. Put the thingy on it. Bleed the coolant. While this is being bled, I'm gonna jump in Kevin's CRV. I'm gonna go get us some Timmy's. Timmy. 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 <laughs> uh, you know, the, I remember the first time not knowing anything in high school, mm -hmm. in shop class. My teacher didn't tell us about uh, why you should never open a rad cap after a car started, and uh, let's just say uh, I got coolant all over the shop, man. Oh shit, man! That shit was Kinda hot. Like my shop right now. Uh, like, a lot, a lot worse, bro. Yeah. A lot worse. I mean, like I was wearing it, man. Oh shit! But yeah, uh, guys, we're not gonna bore you with the uh, bleeding of the system. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna bore, bore you with the bleeding of the system. Uh, I'm gonna sneak in a poll and add it to the end of this video for you guys uh, to see how she sounds wide open on the on the Mexican highway. And uh, yeah, uh, big shout out to Kev, as always. Uh, we did a much needed oil change, intake upgrade. Um, from here, I think we're gonna probably jump back to the EL, situate what well, needs to be situated, so that way we can go to the dyno afterwards and all that, uh, and then get back onto this because there are other accessories and stuff that I would like to, to do uh, to the CRV, and then swing this one, guys. I, I got a lot of things planned for the season. It's gonna be great with the help of this man. And then um, he's gonna let me know when the S2000 is at the shop and we're gonna do a walk around. Uh, it has to be a day that Tom is not here because Tom is camera shy. Uh, it's almost like those guys that go to burlesque house with small penises. Uh, they get very intimidated, so that's what the camera does to Tom. Like I said, you'll always ever hear him, you'll never see him. Unless I buy him like a, a wicked helmet that's shaped like a penis. Uh, but yeah, so when Mercer's S2000 is here, I will be coming here and we'll do like a walk around. Um, I know I promised last year at the K-Series meet we were going to do it, but we got rained on, so we didn't bother. So this time, we'll give you guys a proper walk around on this uh, S2K, everything from the cage, everything that he's done. Uh, so yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> uh, check out all the up and coming videos. Yes. Yes. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. And share. Peace. Peace.